Hoppy Hopscotch was not always like this. <laughs> this is her sad origin story. Once upon a time in the heart of a lively forest, there was a little lime rabbit named Hoppy Hopscotch. With her shiny black eyes, a black nose, and long ears, she was a bundle of energy and joy, born into a loving rabbit family. From a young age, Hoppy had a penchant for playing outside especially enjoying games that involved kicking things around, much like her version of football. The days were filled with laughter as Hoppy and her rabbit friends kicked pines or made balls out of leaves, reveling in the simple joys of their woodland home. One fateful day, as Hoppy was exploring the forest, she stumbled upon a highway, a place unfamiliar to her. Intrigued, she cautiously approached and discovered a box filled with footballs. Excitement filled her heart as she picked one up, eager to share this newfound treasure with her friends. As she made her way back to her rabbit companions, she couldn't help but notice a factory nestled in the midst of the forest. Little did she know, this factory would change her life forever. With the football in her paws, Hoppy Hopscotch spent glorious days playing with boundless enthusiasm. The forest became their playground where the rhythmic thuds of the ball echoed through the trees. Hoppy, in her zest for the game, joyfully kicked the ball to and fro. Her friends following suit with infectious laughter. Eager to share her newfound delight, she gathered her rabbit companions in a makeshift field of fallen leaves. With a heart brimming with excitement, Hoppy demonstrated the art of kicking the ball, encouraging her friends to join in the fun. Despite their initial clumsiness, soon enough, the forest air was filled with the sounds of playful hops and delighted giggles. As the rabbits learned to kick and chase the ball together. In those carefree moments, the worries of the world melted away. And the forest was alive with the pure joy of companionship and play. Little did they know, however, that these innocent days of merriment would soon be overshadowed by the dark clouds of tragedy. As Hoppy and her friends played with their new football, lurking in the shadows, had been tracking her every move. He marveled at the sight of these rare, vibrant creatures and saw an opportunity. The hunter contacted the factory's management, proposing to capture the rabbits and use their unique green skin to create footballs. Unbeknownst to Hoppy, the hunter withdrew into the shadows, scheming go, go, go. and planning the capture of the unsuspecting rabbits. I see footprints right there. The day finally arrived. 
when the hunters, with their dark intentions, attacked the peaceful forest. Chaos ensued as the rabbits tried to escape. But the hunters managed to capture one of them. Undeterred, Hoppy and the remaining rabbits regrouped, determined to rescue their friend. Hoppy, using her wits, tracked the hunters to their camp. Along the way, Hoppy discovered subtle clues. Broken twigs, faint footprints, and the lingering scent of the hunter's cruel intent. She navigated the forest with a mix of caution and urgency. Her once playful eyes now focused with a fierce determination. As the night wore on, the trail became clearer, leading Hoppy to the ominous glow of the hunter's campfire. With a heavy heart, she informed her family and friends. We need to do something, and fast. And together, they devised a plan to free their captured companion. The night was dark and filled with tension as they approached the hunter's camp. The forest echoed with the rustling of leaves and the distant calls of nocturnal creatures. Finally, they reached the captured rabbit, only to find the hunter had anticipated their move. In a desperate attempt to save her friend, Take me instead of her. Hoppy reluctantly agreed to surrender herself to the hunter. Yeah. However, the treacherous hunter betrayed her trust, callously ending the life of her dear friend. Grief, horror, and heartbreak overwhelmed Hoppy. And in that moment of despair, an unexpected transformation began to take place. Her once bright green fur turned dark, and her innocent eyes transformed into pools of malevolence. Hoppy Hopscotch became an evil monster. 